is episode one of On the Road with the Lady Killer, Ray Larkin, starring yours truly, Ray Larkin. Thank you guys, it's great to be here. Welcome to my first debut episode for Casa DAT Studios entitled On the Road with the Lady Killer, Ray Larkin. And I'm your host, Sin Cara. Well, hey, I'm sorry about that. I just botched it up. Everybody's entitled to one botch, unless you're Sin Cara. Now, you know, I went around the, I went on the road. I, I have a lot of, a huge big show planned for you guys tonight. But I want to talk to you guys first about the 2013 Royal Rumble. And you know what? It was a record-breaking night. It was a historic night that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Like, for example, did you guys know, fun fact, WWE, did you guys know Dusty Rhodes' old Dusty Balls were responsible for not one, but two entries in this year's Royal Rumble? Not only that, the Godfather, he makes his return. And boy, was I marking out. Then all of a sudden, he gets thrown out in seconds. He finishes in seconds. Hmm. Doesn't that make sense why he has to pay for it now? Godfather. Alright. Now, another record-setting monumental moment. The great Kali comes in at number 23. But by the time he finishes walking to the ring, he's the 24th entrant. I love you, Kali, but no, I don't. Uh, then, on top of that, we get a main event. Great match. Then, out of nowhere... Boom! The Rock hits one of the worst sharpshooters I have ever seen in my entire life. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Are you serious, bro? What, all of a sudden, I'm sure Bret Hart was backstage spitting out his chicken and crafty, probably going to round up the shield and go out there and stop that fucking injustice. That was terrible. But we still love The Rock. But you know what? Big ups tonight. The big up for the Royal Rumble. Big ups to the Spanish announce table. I mean, seriously, that table almost lasted the entire show, which makes that table WWE should chew iron. Man. Not to mention, there was a big dramatic point when the lights went out, and everybody was wondering. I know trolls all over America, all over the UK, were thinking the exact same thing I was thinking: the return of Mordecai <laughs> or Kevin Thorne or whoever, but not to mention Vince McMahon. Big ups to Vince McMahon because, let me tell you something, he's learning over the years. He didn't run into that ring. He wasn't going to tear those quads, no. What he should have did, he should have got on one of those old WrestleMania four postcards, walked down, did a little time, did like half his walk, and then slowly carried his old ass into the ring. Yeah, fire. Now, there was... Monday Night Raw. There was the close of the Royal Rumble transitioning into Monday Night Raw. And what have we got, ladies and gentlemen, transitioning not only to Raw, but the road to WrestleMania? We have Once in a Lifetime, Part 2. Fuck. That was one short lifetime. One short lifetime. They sh you know what they should have put on this shit? They should have put Rock vs. Cena, Once in a Lifetime, of a goldfish. Once in a lifetime of a fruit fly. Are you guys fucking kidding me? It was just so terrible. I didn't really, wasn't a big fan, but I know that it is what it is. Now, on top of that, you know, WWE has writers. They have some of the most educated, highly skilled, sorry, the most educated, right? I can't even say that with a straight face. The most, some of the most highly educated writers known to man today. And to think, all of their hard work was going to be replaced by a giant fucking wheel. I'm excited. Were you? Now, you know, WWE was in the gambling capital of the world. Las Vegas, Nevada. Ironically, 24 hours there after their least riskiest pay-per-view booking ever. Shit, that was a garbage pay-per-view. Not the best, but not the worst. Actually, the worst. But, we, you know... WWE, you know, no script aside, they used to come up with some of the most complex, complex swerves, uh, story endings, everything like that. Now, whenever WWE wants to close something, they use duct tape. Everything is duct tape now. Opening matches are duct tape. Mid-card matches are duct tape. John Cena versus Batista matches duct tape. 
Alberto Del Rio versus Big Show pay-per-view main event situation. Trying to come up with a good ending to a great match. And you know what WWE says? Fuck the swerve. Death King. Real sorry to hear about that. That was actually a great match between Alberto Del Rio and Big Show. Be looking to. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them feud throughout the year for the World Heavyweight Title. Not only at Elimination Chamber, not only at WrestleMania, not only at Over the Limit, not only at No Way Out, not only at SummerSlam, not only at uh, Survivor Series, not only at TLC, not only not only leading up to all the SmackDowns, leading up to those pay-per-view events. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this rivalry. Now. You know, if you guys, and let me tell you something about being a WWE fan. If you guys love just general stock footage of Las Vegas, well, you're in for one three-hour impact ride of Monday Night Raw, baby. Because they've got the same shot of the Flamingo that they did for the past 20 years. That's a big accomplishment, WWE. Pat yourselves on the back. And not the Barry Horowitz Pat. Regular Pat. Now, you know... A lot of you guys trolls are not only going to be trolling this show on my opening, and fuck you for that, but you're also going to be trolling the Raw Roulette Wheel. Hey, let me tell you something. That Raw Roulette Wheel is far better than any booking Vince Russo will ever do. See? Don't ever tell me I never put over a Raw Roulette Wheel. Because I just did. Now, you guys are entitled to one PG joke. And here it is. You know... John Cena and The Rock. That's not what I dreamt. You think that was my dream match? It wasn't my dream match last year. It wasn't, it's never my dream match. But recently, there's been a PG dream match that I just literally have to see. And that's this, a true injustice. It's, it's an injustice that should be fought at a WrestleMania. I think John Cena should fight Fred Flintstone. Winner gets to stay on the cover of a Fruity Pebble box. There, it was a PG joke. You can troll the fuck out of that, but there it is. In your face. Said nobody. Um, and then you know what? I, I, I want to tell you guys. You want to hear something funny? There used to be a dominant. Respected wrestler in Japan. That looks just like Lord Tenzai. Ooh. Yeah. Well I don't want to give away too much of Raw. In case for some of you who haven't seen it. But you guys know what I'm talking about. And you know. Back to this duct tape. You know I just figured out what WWE should be using this duct tape for. They should be using this duct tape to tape our asses to those seats to make us watch a fucking three hour episode of Monday Night Raw. Duct tape. Duct tape WWE. You're just using it wrong. You're not using it how I would have used it. Now, onto the notes. Onto other things that I saw. Uh, you know, um, a lot of you guys, there's some of you die hard diva fans. Or there's just some general people that I see at signings ass kissing the diva turner. Oh, you were, this is not the same anymore when you were here, Sable. It's not, oh, I'm sorry, Sable's never, I'm going to use a better one. It was never the same when you were around, Sonny. When you were just one of two divas on the roster, it's just never going to be the same again. Well, let me tell you something. The WWE division, diva division, uh, isn't dead because that would have to imply that it was once good at a point. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for that, but it never was. It never really was. And then, the moment that only Rock fans have been waiting for. After ten long years, finally, The Rock has come back to promote four of his new movies this week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, The Rock has finally come back, not to be our WWE Champion, not to give us the five-star classic matches he used to give us. He came here to promote his movies and then leave. Arrive, promote movies, leave. I'm, I'm mad that uh, Stone Cold took that shirt because The Rock should have really had that shirt. Now, The Rock said there's only one word to describe his WWE, his ascension to the WWE title. And he's absolutely right. There's only one word to describe The Rock's ascension to the WWE title. Predictable. <laughs> Not to mention a few minutes of Chris Jericho and Daniel Bryan. Hey, that should uh, right a lot of WWE's wrongs. And should get a lot of indie wrestlers all over, indie wrestlers and indie wrestling fans all over these United States. Giant hard-ons all over. You're welcome. Now, you know, Trish Stratus, big ups to Trish Stratus. She is being an induct, 
is she has been inducted into the WWE 2013 Hall of Fame. And let me tell you something. I am so confident that Trish Stratus is the hottest Hall of Fame inductee since Mae Young. Yes, I know Sonny's in the Hall of Fame. I'm implying she's fucking ugly. Gotcha. Now, and then and that's Tammy, then you don't want to sign my autograph. Well, fuck you, old bitch. Mad at you. And then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, I am a big fan of WWE merchandise. Now, generally, I'm wearing a suit right now. I don't know why. But uh, this once-in-a-lifetime DVD, I have the shirts, I have the hats. But I think WWE should make a, a book. I've actually wrote it to them in the, one of my uh, letters from the stockholders to Vince McMahon, and he just tears them up and throws them away. But I think they should actually make a Ryback joke book. It's not really a joke book. It's just a list of moves he thinks he can perform well. Ryback, fee me more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my lame jokes aside, I'd like to thank you for watching or being forced to watch by somebody else who thinks I'm cute or somebody who, hey, come check out this guy. He met a lot of wrestlers. Uh, I, whatever reason you're watching, I appreciate it. And if you're planning on killing me, that's fucked up, man. Don't do that. Put the gun down, man. I want to meet more people. Watch the show, man. Relax, relax. Put the gun down. Put the lipstick on. Don't shoot me. <laughs> Watch the show. Now, I have a lot of wrestlers I ran into. I ran into some of the greatest wrestlers that are currently on the WWE roster. Not some old. I didn't go to a WWE rehab and then meet some, you know, some old, some of your old favorites, Jake the Snake Roberts and. Well, Jake the Snake Roberts and, and, and oh, Sean Waltman, x pac and a lot of other drugged out people. But I actually ran in to John Cena, Ryback, Chris Jericho, Alberto Del Rio, and so many more. So many more WWE superstars. Now, I hope you enjoy my, inde my future endeavors into Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, and then coming back home. I hope you enjoy... Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the show. I'm on my way to the 2013 Royal Rumble. As you can see, I got my Phoenix hat on. And I'm headed, I'm almost to Phoenix right now. As you can see, I have a long road ahead of me. A little earlier, I was covered in uh, a foggy mist. Uh, I was kind of lost. A lot like Miz's career in WWE. I was lost in a mist. Um, oh, that was a cheap shot on the Miz. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm just getting ready to meet a lot of my favorite superstars and take you on this epic journey, one of many epic journeys that I'll be taking you guys on throughout the year. Enjoy. Antonio Cesaro showed more defense than the Phoenix Suns did in this whole damn season.
This is Ray Larkin reporting. Good morning, WWE Universe, and just people who are just randomly watching my show on YouTube. I am roadside in Arizona, headed to Nevada. Now, I've already gotten one speeding ticket going 96 miles an hour. Almost got arrested for that. Um, I met a lot of wrestlers and I have a lot of footage to show you, but right now I'm headed to Monday Night Raw out in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'll be filming right now, so enjoy. Okay, so I don't want to panic, but it's a fucking blizzard! Oh, shit! Well, let's hope I make it. A little tough. I don't usually go this far. Pretty scary. Hasn't been this scary since I've been in Colorado. Maybe I'll be buried in the snow like Randy Orton's career. Well, at last, the blizzard has subsided. Now it's nothing but sunshine and on my way to Vegas. I made it, and my last uh, kind of souvenir from, uh, from Arizona was this Arizona Cardinal Cup. If I can get a shot of that. Yeah. Not to mention that I'm excited for tonight's Raw because I am highly, I highly project that Brock Lesnar will be on this show. Why, you ask? Brock Lesnar has a 30, 30 more appearances to do for WWE. You better do it right now. Really mean a lot that Brock Lesnar could show up. Finally, the Lady Killer has come back! to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's great to be back. Can't wait to see Monday Night Raw. Well, I'm here at the Thomas and Mack Center and I'm so happy to finally make it out here. Um, I made it. Thomas and Mack Center. Well, I'm leaving another WWE event, Las Vegas, and I'm headed back home. It's going to be good to see L.A. again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is late night. Uh, it is approximately 1 in the morning. And I am driving. I am driving back home. Back home to California. Vegas has been a fun... I've had a fun time out in Vegas. I had a fun time out in Phoenix, Arizona. I had a fun time with the people of Phoenix people of Vegas and I'm ready to come back home. I have so much to show you guys and I hope you guys liked everything that I had to show you and the things that I have to show you in the future. Hope you guys watch, subscribe, like me on Facebook, you know the Zack Ryder bullshit. Follow me on this, like me on that. Have a good night guys. I'm coming home. <laughs> oh, that was so great. I love myself. Uh, you know, that that is just really, really awesome. You know, I hope you guys really enjoyed my drive to Arizona, my rea instant reactions, real-time reactions to the WWE Royal Rumble, and my journey to Vegas, which was pretty, pretty crazy. And now, it's the time in the show when we talk to the wrestlers. The only reason you pretty much watch this show is to see my interactions with the WWE superstars and even sometimes members of the WWE Universe. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy a moment with the WWE superstars. So how you feel about what Austin said about you on Twitter, man? What did he say? Oh, he, what was he saying? What did you tell me he was saying? Oh, freaking Austin was talking about how... You're not a main event status yet, man. Yeah, I, man. Which I completely disagree. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, we support you. Everyone puts their own opinions, man. Yeah. Sure. No, but we support you 100%, man. Me and my mom, we're uh, stockholders. Nice, we appreciate, appreciate that, it. man. Thank you, Seamus. Everybody is. Bro. Every, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's putting their own opinion, man. Thank you. No, no worries, is. man. Everybody is, so... Oh, we appreciate it. I don't hold that against him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Alright, man. Thank you, Shane. Uh, yeah. so, that's, that's cool. the best that's a good, that's a good pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, 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 do you think he would beat you, though? Can you take a pretty good record. 
Is it gonna happen again once in a lifetime part two, John? <laughs> hey, you know how hard you are to beat on WWE 13, man? You never tap out. I have to literally, like, smash the controller. I think controller. I suck. They, uh, they made me look like shit in that game. I don't know what, like... Well, it has your first outfit on there. It's, like, all black. Yeah, it's just, like, the whole thing is... is cool. Like, there's no reason I should have been on the game to begin with. Uh, I don't know why, like, uh, You go with Lesnar pretty good, because I was going on the windy streak. All right, man. Thanks, right, man. man. So when are you going to catch the briefcase in, Dolph? As soon as, I, as soon as I don't lose every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, we're, we're hoping you don't lose every week. So we go one, two, and... We're hoping for a big push, you know? Yeah. Dog, you're getting robbed, though, man. You're fighting the gold game, bro. You're getting robbed. That's true. Give me a chance I can hold the briefcase, bro. Yeah, you make a run for it. I gotta beat the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got this. He, 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 he ain't running. Everybody in prison said they're innocent, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you, you Dolph. Thank you. <laughs> Alberto, you worried about Dolph cashing in? What was that? You worried about Dolph cashing in, man? Not at all, man. No, man. <laughs> Not at all? <laughs> I, I, I had that briefcase, too. And, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. it and look how it worked out for you. <laughs> Take care, Alberto. Been here since 8 this morning. <laughs> I heard Del Rio put you on ice last night. <laughs> <laughs> I, be I, I believed it. <laughs> so Jericho, what brings you back, man? What brings you back? He's here to cause trouble. Come on now. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. So Book, The Rock made his return when you making yours. One last one, man. Dude, he's a general manager. He don't need to do that no more. Oh. But he's still better than, than most of the roster. Book, I'm telling you, we want one more spin of Rooney, man. One more run. Just one more year. Just one more year. You know, maybe one more. Just one more. How's Armel doing? Wait, One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, How's the movie coming along, man? It's already done. All right. In the can, ready to go. All yeah, right. Man. Can't wait for it to come out? Yeah, me too. Yeah. What's the release date? March 5th. And are you going right. to be in Scooby Doo as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, man. Good stuff. Matt, hey, do you ever miss being in the new breed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think hey, gonna... Ariel, I, I'm not gonna lie, I would've been being in it too, Ariel in it. I told you I met the wrestlers, you guys just didn't believe me. But, the folks at Casa D18, you, you already know that, that I met them all. Now, that was a hell of an episode, and I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you were just trolling, fuck you. But if you were just watching just for the wrestlers, hey, rewind it and watch the rest of it. That was, that was like at least three good jokes in that first segment. Now, I want to tell you guys that I really enjoyed you guys watching. Now, I'm hoping you'll subscribe to this channel. I'm here for a season. I'm kind of like on a Brock Lesnar deal. I'm just here when I want to be here. <laughs> so I'm just coming out, doing my thing, and just whatever. So what I'm telling you guys is I don't know how many times I'm going to be doing this because I want to bring you guys an entertaining show as much as possible. I don't want you to think I'm going to interview some wrestlers one time, then on another show maybe not interview them. I want to give you guys some quality programming. I want to give you guys a reason to make Casa D18 your home as well. Sometimes I have to break in here. I mean, I, they, they tell me it's not my home, but I, I'll break in here. It will be my home one day. Now, um, I just want to tell you guys that I want you to catch the next episode because in the coming weeks, I have so much new material. Actually, I have a couple of phone calls I need to make to certain big WWE people. Not only that, I have to introduce some of my characters, some of the cast and crew of this show. Of this episode, of these episodes of On the Road with the Lady Killer Ray Larkin, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for letting me onto your iPods, your iPhones, your Droids, your and you know for watching me over pornography that means a lot to me. It really does because you could be watching some porn right now. Well, don't don't don't, don't turn it yet. Wait, but you, you you could have been watching any kind of porno, but you decided to watch me instead. Aww. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Would that be when I say? <laughs>